being smart, listening to the president, the CDC guidelines, like all people should, but I'm not living in fear of COVID-19. What I'm living in fear of is what's happening to this country. And you know, Tucker, no one reached out to me and said, uh, as a senior citizen, uh, are you willing to take a chance on your survival in exchange for keeping the America that all America loves for your children and grandchildren? And if that's the exchange, I'm all in. Um, and that doesn't make me noble or brave or anything like that. I just think there are lots of grandparents out there in this country like me, I have six grandchildren, that what we all care about and what we love more than anything are those children. And I want to you know, live smart and, uh, and, and see through this, but I don't want the whole country to be sacrificed. Uh, and, I, and that's what I see. I've talked to hundreds of people, Tucker, in just in the last week. and. Uh, making calls all the time, and, and everyone says pretty much the same thing, that we can't lose our whole country. We, we're having an economic collapse. I'm also a small businessman. I understand it, and I talk with business people all the time, Tucker, and, and I'm so, my, I'm just, my heart is lifted tonight by what I heard the president say, because we can do more than, you know, one thing at a time. We can do two things. So, you know, my message is that, um, Let's get back to work. Let's get back to living. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and those of us who are 70 plus, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. Don't do that. Don't ruin so this you're, great American So you're basically dream. saying that this disease could take your life, but that's not the scariest thing to you. There's something that would be worse than dying.